Hey guys, Joshua Gondamu here, and um, my camera fizzes in now. It's because it's on super macro, because uh, we're going to be looking at something really up close. Have you ever had uh, this problem? Got your ground type Gundam, you're playing with him, you're playing with him, and eventually, eventually, his shoulder comes off. There we go. Yeah. You hate that. In fact, odds are, if you had them when you were young and they didn't just live on a shelf, you lost some of the shoulders. For years, I've wanted to improve on that toy design, and I've done it. So, another episode of how to super improve your Gundam MSI action figures. I'm going to show you how to make it so your shoulders do not come off. And no, you don't actually have to glue it onto the arm because that inhibits flexibility a lot. Thought about it. Rejected that idea. What you're going to need. One, a ground type Gundam. Two, ground type Gundam with shoulders. Three, thin MSIA plastic that you can cut. Basically, what we've got here is a strip of plastic. Just glued on. And uh, that keeps it on. Now, you know, I could probably force it off, but I even tried like pulling on this and it bonded. The super glue bonded really well. So his shoulders are going to stay on, which is really helpful because I have developed a ground type Gundam parachute pack that works. But, you know, obviously I can't just do that to um, have my ground type Gundam lose his shoulders. So. I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but I'm going to try and show you as I work. I'm going to try and make some more. My camera, see if I can get it at an angle where I can see what I'm doing on the camera too. There we go. I need something really thin. So this is... um. Obviously, any scrap MSA plastic could work. I would love to use uh, Nero's Gundam shoulders because they're already gray. But uh, recently, I ripped apart a Giant Ryan High Mobility Zaku 2. This is the skirt armor protection piece because I am building a worker Zaku in the works still. I'm always building lots of customs. Anyways, the plastic is thin. You can see that. So it's ideal, you know, plastic like right here, that's really thick. We don't want that. We want thin plastic. And you could just use any kind of spare MSA parts, honestly. And you're just going to want to cut a thin little strip. And that's just using a cutting board. But my camera is currently resting on my cutting board, so... So I've cut myself a little strip there. I need to make sure that it's going to fit. So you're going to measure it against this. Now it's going to be a little long, so I'm going to trim it just slightly on one end. I'm just using a pen knife. Here, so if my hand blocks up, it's a little piece right there. So. Now, in order for this to actually work, you're going to have to already have the shoulder on. Otherwise, you run into uh, many problems. You're going to need super glue. This is a part where you need to be careful. If you have too much super glue, you'll end up super gluing your shoulder to your ground type Gundam. But uh, it's really not that hard. We're going to cover the secrets here in just a second. So you take your little plastic piece. You might need your knife just to try and work it into that small area. There. Okay, now, if you've got that secured where it needs to be, the thing you need to do now is move your shoulder. If your shoulder should have excess glue that's touching the figure, it will bond in place. But if you're moving it, it will not be able to bond in place. This is why you go easy on the super glue. I recommend Loctite's um, 
little controlled nozzle here. Very, probably the best. If you just use your dollar store deal, uh, you're gonna have problems. Anyways, let that dry. Once it's dried some, you're going to want to take another dab of super glue in each corner of it and just reinforce it. Super glue is kind of like a, uh, a liquid weld when it comes to plastic. And so, uh, yeah, it might not even need that extra adjustment, but hey, let's be safe. You know what I mean? Now, unfortunately, these are red on my figure, but uh, I just don't have any gray lying around. So that's just what it's going to be. And I'm okay with that, you know, because it's the underarm, you know, it's, it's fine. It might even look kind of cool. Now I'm going to do it to the second one. Just, uh, off it. Now... I got this spot on, so I don't actually have any super glue gluing it to the body, but under normal circumstances, you'd want to keep turning this. You don't have to turn it constantly, but, you know, don't let it sit for 30 seconds or more, because uh, it might bond. So I'm going to need another piece for that. I'm going to keep moving that, just so it doesn't get stuck. Using my same plastic here, my pen knife. I'm going to size up so it's a really, really thin piece. Really thin. Thin is the key. It doesn't take a thick piece to keep it on there. It just needs something there. See? That's pretty thin. Turn my shoulder, make sure it doesn't bond. Measure this against the width of my shoulder. It seems like maybe unnecessary to show you how to do this twice, but you know, I like in case I can show it better the second time around. You know, because uh, I know that many people have had this problem. They wanted their ground type Gundam to not lose his shoulders. We've all had it happen. It's a terrible thing when your ground type gun loses a shoulder. So that's gonna fit. I will now take my super glue. Dab a little there. Dab a little there. Got a little on the nub, but it should be fine. I need to adjust this to there. Using your pen knife can be quite helpful there. Don't be afraid to use your finger. Super glue is already starting to dry. It's not going as flawlessly this time. But I believe I can save it. Truth is, if it doesn't work, don't freak out, just do it again. Just let the glue dry and do it again. That might be what I ultimately have to choose to do. We got excess super glue. Yep. See, that time it didn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this little plastic piece, this little red piece that I cut dry, I'm going to let the shoulder dry. I'm going to wipe off any excess glue off of there. I'm just going to let them dry. You know, so it's it's trial and error thing. You may not decide that you want to do this to our fi to your figure. You know, like I said, if the glue's starting to bond, it's not attached. Pull out. You know, just just let it dry. Try again. Since that didn't work, I'm going to reinforce this first one with just a dab of super glue on each corner. And that just reinforces it so it'll be more solid. It's not going anywhere. Don't try and get the shoulders off after you make this mod, because um, you might actually do damage. It's now very bonded. But um, it's a good mod. So I hope that uh, it was a good lesson for you. If you've had this problem and you want to play with your Gundams more, you know, without the shoulders falling off, this could probably work on any figure, something like this. So uh, that's it for my review. Make sure to stay tuned so you can see uh, my parachute ground-type Gundam. Catch you guys later.